Tate, Tony, Tony Hour. Hour. As always, it's me, Azrin, along with Akit here. And we are back for another Tate, Tony Talk. Tate, Tony Talk. Talk. <laughs> talk show. <laughs> our talk show where we talk about uh, a bunch of nonsense. Sometimes very nonsense, sometimes very serious topic, but we try to talk it in the... Balance our life. Uh. Balance our life. Uh. But we talk it in <laughs> a way that for the people there, uh, because uh, hopefully you see us as part of the people. Uh. Mm. Right. <laughs> uh, some some like our last episode we are talking about the those uh people, uh foreigners who are work in Malaysia without the permit and uh, uh those suffering. La, and I then mean, the previous one before that we talked about the type C uh, situation. C. Yep. Which uh quite a scandalous thing, but we hopefully bring a good discussion there type for people. C, type uh, M uh, type uh, chicken, <laughs> and uh, the chicken uh, racist chicken. <laughs> racist chicken. <laughs> hey, some of the people say you should try we should try other chicken uh, McDota or uh, McDota. <laughs> Eh? Still okay. alive. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. Uh. <laughs> Don't know. Uh. But we, we need to find out. Uh. Mm-hmm. But uh, we, as always, we're thankful for everyone watching our content and, and supporting yes. us and giving your comments. We really appreciate you guys uh, being part of the of the channel. Uh. Thumb like and subscribe our uh, channel. As always, yes. Thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, already. Uh. And if you want to reach out to us, as always, stay tired our at gmail.com. Today's topic. Actually, like today, do okay. When to come to today's topic, I we can say it's very serious about the this topic, but we are tricky. It's more like on the discussions la. because this topic, I think, many many people will talking about about it already. Yes, of course, there's people uh discuss uh it's in in very serious way and very in depth way la, yep. about this issue and uh. As you guys can see from the title, what we're talking about is the human rights. But for Western country, they are always emphasized and highlight is a whole call we call it human rights. Yeah, human rights. Uh. But in Southeast Asia country, I think Malaysia is quite good in doing this call hum- wow, human rights. Uh. I I probably would not agree fully. We've done some things that are good. Mm-mm. Definitely, we've improved. Mm-mm. But can we consider ourselves uh, to the level of human rights that's need required? I don't think so. La. We're still trying to reach there. Because la. in human right in this world, humans what? Human. Mm. In we got the hierarchy or mm. the people of the level. Maybe all the poor people and the middle class of people I and mean the rich people at this kind of level. I think in Malaysia, I want to highlight the one thing is because Malaysia, we got a lot of races. Yes, we are very diverse as a country. Yeah, yeah. Chinese, Malay, or Indians, and, and we not even that. Just go beyond that, like the uh, uh, or the native people of Borneo and Sarawak, all this. Yes, and all the this Ibans, Ibans, and everything. But recently, not recently, actually, quite some time ago, the we call it this a fault of race in Malaysia is called foreigners. Mm. This foreigner actually is uh, they are come from. Uh, Myanmar and come like from other places. Myanmar the, or, or like uh, Bangladesh or, yes. or, or like Vietnamese. All this like uh, considered for, for mo- a lot of Malaysian. Yes. A bit like a uh, lower class a bit. La. Yeah, lower class a bit. So I think this group of people, they have, um, I mean, no right to have this human right and don't have any uh, like like uh, they are qualified to have this. Not say qualified, they are saying, I they don't get hu- treated equally in, yes. in Malaysia. La. By uh, like our Malaysian like that. Uh, we, mm. there, there's no protection for them in, in Malaysia. And that's actually is a very uh, serious issue Mm-mm. in Malaysia in terms of like how we treat foreigners. Uh, we, we don't compare the high class expat. Uh, mm. Okay, this is when we're talking foreigners, we're not talking about the Kuala. Uh, yes. The UK people or the or white people living in the KLCC, all this. We're talking actually about the lower class uh, mm. or working class foreigners. These are people who are really working in, in 3D jobs. Dirty, dangerous, and, and what's the other D? I forgot also. <laughs> but these, these kind of jobs, mm. and they more often than not uh, do not have access to basic human rights. Yes. So and the basic benefit from, from the country. Like what what would be the key human rights that you think is the, the most lacking for a lot of these like foreign workers, uh, you think? I think for foreign workers they at least they have uh, like a basic the shelter. Yeah, wow. really, uh, you sh- because I believe it's uh I think it's sixty percent of refugees or these kind of foreigners, they have don't have any 
a proper shelter in Malaysia. You can see wow. the Pudu area and some places in the area. I think it's a 10 people or 12 people to squeeze inside one room. Exactly. So this is very true. Uh, as I keep saying, this is an issue that a lot of foreign, foreigners and mm. a lot of foreign workers face because they don't have access to, say, renting a place. Yes. For one thing, they have salary, not enough. For second thing, uh, a lot of people who rent places can be a bit racist also. Yes, yes. So they don't have a lot of options. Mm -mm. And the third of all, a lot of times they're being forced to stay in a place so provided by the company. Lo. Yes. And more often than not, it's this kind of place that's you, you put 20 people in a room for five people. This is the kind of situation a lot of foreign workers uh, face. The thing is, right, I, I do believe that a lot of Malaysians don't know or don't care enough to know about this situation. Uh. You know, there's some, some places in like this kind of, uh, I mean, it's a downtown area, the ventilations, I mean, the air ventilations are very bad, you know. Yeah, and then you they, go inside the rooms, you can see 10 people inside. Some more, they are, they are, they are in the room, they try to cooking. And then don't just say cooking also you clean you lit you the shower hygiene, yeah it's, it's very bad and and we saw some parts of it being showcased especially during the pandemic mm. when they were forced to stay in this kind of situation where you need to be stuck together and then you maybe be of covid mm. and you can see that how terribly the the foreign workers are treated in in malaysia not just malaysia actually in singapore as well there were a lot of cases where you see that all these foreign workers being forced to stay in this small place together. But in Malaysia, you know, three, uh, four, pe five people is got one is foreigners. Foreigner, which means I'm not saying the I expect foreigners. Uh, is a yes, we, we say this is yeah. the working people. So foreigner. this is a very worse situation for our Malaysians. La, Malaysia, la. this mm. is what I can see. Is, so, how, okay, so like, how, how aware are you of how terribly the situation is for a lot of foreign workers. Did you have like any experience with people, foreign workers that's currently facing issues with, with like, I don't know, pay or anything like that? I think pay is one, one thing. Is that the other thing is like, our Malaysian, uh, some of the employees, they are no trick them as a humans and the people. It's some kind of like, oh, if let's say you are working, maybe I'm holding your passport. Like there's those kind of uh, the what you call it the construction air, uh, mm, site. Mm, mm, mm. That one is a maybe it's a refugees. I don't know. It's a refugees or maybe it's a it's a local born uh, foreigners. <laughs> local born foreigners. Yeah, this is actually another situation that's very unique, right? Because mm. uh, a lot of the foreigners they li come here, they live here, they f start a family here, yep. and they have children here. So the thing is, right? If you are a person born in Malaysia. Mm -mm. This is a question that we want to ask ourselves. If you are born Malaysia, born in Malaysia, are you considered a Malaysian citizen? We, okay. This I know is also a basic last, human right. Our right? last episode we are talking about, ah, it's very hardly to get a citizenship in, in Malaysia, especially mm. though foreigners who are give, uh, have a birth in, I mean, born in Malaysia, they are not really easily to get the, the, the citizenships in Malaysia. Mm. But, can we have someone like a society workers? You help this group of people. I mean, it's a massively to have this group of people to get easily to let them to come become a Malaysian citizenships. I mm. think it's very convenient for them and for the next generation because they are already here. Then they maybe they have a next generation. The next generation will be treated better because they are go to for the education. Because I believe it's this group of people, maybe their lack of education, they come from their own country to come to Malaysia for work. To for find better life, right? Better life, yes. Yeah. So I think for next generation, we treat them as a Malaysian. Let them to have a equally as same like Malaysian. That's a very optimistic perspective. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I feel like a lot of Malaysians have been ingrained with the idea that foreign workers that come in and get citizenship did not come in in a good way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember, la, but back in the day, eh, people would say that, oh, BN would bring all these foreign workers in, or, or BN would say, oh, oh DAP, uh, PH, bring all these foreign workers in to get them to vote for them or something like that. Remember, yeah, yeah, remember yeah. this yeah, I case? Remember, uh, I remember. This kind of fear mongering and dog whistling or like just the, the tactic la, to make foreign workers the bad people there or the villain there. I think it's already stuck too much into Malaysians uh, to, to, for them to unlearn this thing. Uh. 
this is a very deep programming, I would say. Mm-hmm. And even to this day, I think like uh, quite recently there was a, in social media of ha- when I think during r- riot that time, right? You mm-hmm. see a lot of people, the foreigners, the the Bangladesh, the Myanmar, all these people enjoying their day off, right? And then the Malaysian guy or girl or something posted on social, wow, you look at this, is this Malaysia still or not? Y- you see that level of racism and, and st- still like hatred towards foreign workers. Ah. So for you to say like, oh, they deserve basic human rights, Mm-mm. but we don't see them as Malaysians or even humans in that yes. sense, right? Yep. It's a bit of a uphill struggle. Lah. You... <laughs> You, honestly, you think to yourself, right? Would we be able to accept foreign workers? Would Malaysia right now, the Malaysian people right now, be able to accept foreign workers as Malaysians? Eh? Okay, this is not you. You as a Malaysian, you want to accept or not accept. Because they are already here. Mm. They are already here. We don't want to make this as a problem for mm. these foreign workers. Good. Yeah, we want... Because in, in this group of people, they have a prostitution. Right, for yes, some ladies, the, the women, dark market, dark, dark market. Uh. Okay, if let's say we are not trying to do this thing to lead, not, I'm not saying to help them or what lah, because uh, we are trying to make the all this be legalized, not the prostitution. I understand, cause okay, so I think what Aki is trying to say here is that because the lack of access for a lot of foreign workers, Mm-mm. they end up doing all this dark market works because. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you want to apply for a job and they say, oh, you don't have IC or you don't have yep. a f- certification or anything. Yep. So what what can they do? They end up having to do either the, uh, the this kind of dark work. Dark like, work like a, a drug tra- tracking. Dark, dra- drug trafficking or uh, drug mule. La, is uh, drug and then prostitutes. Prostitution. Uh, uh, prostitutions and then maybe a rob or whatever. This kind of happen with that. Yes, because when you don't have anything to survive, Mm-mm. you mm-hmm. will do anything to survive, right? Yeah. Because like if, let's say I am someone, I, I no prospect to get a job. I no prospect to get a house. I no prospect to even have a meal. I will do whatever I can in order to survive, right? That's just human nature. Yes. Now, I want to say this first, right? Because uh, I keep brought up prostitution as a, a line of job that's considered uh, not so good lah in Malaysia. Mm. Now, I want to be clear. My personal perspective on this is that I think prostitution should be de- decriminalized. You know this. This is my opinion for a long mm. time. And that uh, if you do engage in, in sex work, you shouldn't be penalized lah. I think this but is a, a, you fall into a, another's... Uh, topic lah. Not say topic lah. Yes, also it's a human right. Because women, they have a human rights. Exactly. Because they have, don't have any protection. If let's say sex workers, we consider, call it sex workers lah. Wow. Cons- you because you use this word also <laughs> So good are you? <laughs> sex workers, because they are workers, they have a protection from the government as well. If let's say, I regularly to go and check up, I not bring any disease for, for, for my customers. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. I have to check up. Protection, up, right? Uh, protection. I uh, protection. Hey, seriously, nah, if let's say you are Malaysian, you are go for girls, right? Maybe you're ch- ch- chari girl. Yeah, you're gonna ask or gonna any as this is. Then you bring back to your wife. Then how? More this worse. A, I, I mean, this is a very human way. Uh, but people human tend to do that uh. way because it's easy to hide the thing, to hide the fact lah, and then deal with the repercussion later. Yep. But to more to that extent, I want to point out as well that the uh, it's not just like a disease or sexually transmitted disease. The other thing that I think a lot of people don't consider when it comes to sex workers, right? Mm-mm. Let's say the, the sex worker have a client. Yes. And then this client decided that they uh, want to assault this uh, sex worker. If she got assaulted or she got attacked by this client, right? She cannot go to the police because when you go to the police, they will <laughs> jail you first as a sex worker. Yes. And then your case as a sexual assault or anything yeah, won't yeah. even consider there so uh, uh, there is lack of protection there for uh, women in, in sex work uh, in the industry and you amplify that if you are a foreign worker Mm-mm. if you are a foreign woman working in the sex industry even more worse for you yep. because then you get uh, tank up you get caught you have to worry oh am I going to get deported or thrown away or something like that or will I be stuck forever in jail because uh, you have no certification or anything like that, it's the, the situation amplifier. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. But interesting that you bring up uh, sex work and, and, and women's right. Lah. But like, uh, I don't know, for you, how do you feel about women's uh, right in Malaysia? I feel like this is part of discussion in terms of human rights and how Malaysia deal with it. Lah. You, do you think our women's right is at the acceptable level, not good level, or we are the best or something? <laughs> I definitely not the best actually. <laughs> I if let's say we go for the women's right, because women rights uh, we become because one thing is uh, uh maybe this one I a bit a racist uh, racist lah. I don't know because one Mal- uh one Malay guys you need one Malay guys I'm not say Malay guys uh, what I become a Islam, I can marry four women and the three women a girl uh, to uh, be a wife. One one guy four wife kind uh, of thing. One wife, uh. thing. But. I don't think this is very fair for the women. Because for women, right? How come the women is cannot... I can have four or five husbands oh, in the same time. This is very pro- progressive for you. <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking, this one, why, how come I want to share a husband with, my, with, with some other people? This is my thinking. La. I mean, okay, so that's, that's one thing. La, but for in terms of that sense, la, I think when it comes to your personal life like that, I feel the best approach is to not uh, intrude too much la. it's just that when it comes to women's rights I think it's important that they have the protection that is necessary la. so some of those protection would be like uh, sexual harassment protection mm-mm, mm-mm. Or, or like um, at least in terms of like working life right things like uh, providing medical leave for for uh, periods yeah. and then uh, if you get pregnant you won't have to worry about losing your job these kinds of rights, I think, is a far more uh, important situation. But women rights in Malaysia, I think, is still uh, in the average, above average. Uh, uh, what do you think? But I feel like we still need to because more we improve. have we have very misogynistic. We very our our thinking is still very into the male type. Okay, because uh. like oh, women start complaining, uh, they say oh, just women problem. Uh, then they don't listen to no, them even, properly. Even uh. PM also ca- cannot. I uh, mean, woman. I mean, you look at our family or. minister. Remember our women minister? <laughs> she said what? I think a while back something said like, "Oh, yep. talk to your husband like Doraemon voice." <laughs> yeah. You remember this? Uh? What? What kind of advice can you give to women like this? Right? You you tell them to be like a cartoon character, not as a human being, like a human right. You know. <laughs> so this this kind of mentality is not good. Also something like a. Uh, if a woman speak or, or something too much, uh, there's one actor say it's okay to hit the women. Like mm. that, that, that kind of basic r- human treatment. Uh, not mm. even there yet, yeah. you know. I think we still got a lot of the improvement from a uh, 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 woman rights now. Right. It, this, this is like a... Because we are very m- male uh, society, uh, especially in Asian, right? It, male is considered the, the, the number one, uh, right? But and then... The other thing, ah, uh, uh, yeah, number one. <laughs> 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 I mean, ah, uh, you mean, uh, because it, not even that, you look at the job interview, lah. If you are a boss and you need to choose between a guy and a girl, both in the same level. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you go and uh, do interviews, the boss will hire the man first. After then, they are, they are, they will consider the woman. You know why? Right. Uh, let me hear your, your misogynistic, My opinions, uh. your misogynistic view. <laughs> you, know, you know the woman, maybe they are go and park tall, they fall in love, maybe pregnant, period. Exactly, you're right. You pregnant, right? Maybe it's uh, maybe 10 months you're not in a consider <laughs> yeah, yeah, job. Right. Focus on your job. And maybe after you, you after you give birth, maybe you got oh, one month, or three months, uh, uh, the, the maternity leave. Uh, right. Uh, wow, so, I pay so you and like then this, you right? nothing to, to do, do, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're so good. Uh. <laughs> and it's, under, it's, okay, I don't want to say understandable. It's just the n- normal way of thinking back then because we don't see women as the same level as men right mm. but if I'm being like uh, uh, too progressive here la, I, I, I do expect like you know fa- um, the men also to receive the same level of benefit mm-hmm. like women get uh, maternity leave right father also get should also get paternity leave because it's important yeah, for them leave. but paternity leave is one week is one week or two weeks yes. for, for men Exactly, mm-hmm. and I personally think that's not enough, lah. Now, I it's a very contentious di- topic, but I feel that is a basic right for people as well because we always say like, oh, family is important. If family is so important, why you only give one week leave? 
shouldn't you allow them to be building a family at that time? And if you tell me, oh, the work won't be done, eh? cannot be done, mm. I don't think that's true la, because but they will find a way. Let's say come for Chinese. La. Chinese, and for, for my, my opinions, la. for Chinese, for men, yeah, maybe they send the wife go to those uh, maternity leave, uh, ma- maternity uh, center or something. Then mm. they solve the issues. But for Chinese and Malay and Indians, I also got the, the right also. The different races, they got the, the, the means. Yeah, to some extent. If we're going to talk about that, we have to definitely talk about Malay rights. Uh, Malay, <laughs> Malay rights and Chinese rights. You see, uh, I feel pity if let's say I'm Malay. This is my personal feelings. I cannot really? drink alcohol at outside. I just want to drink a beer in a pub. Oh, you are not allowed because you are Islam. Uh, you you are certain regions lah. <laughs> so a religions certain like race. A certain race. A religion automatically la. cannot accept. Uh, you cannot drink. Then oh, why? I just want to enjoy a beer. Right. This kind of thing. Because at the end of the day, what you're doing is not harming anyone. Mm-hmm. It's just your own thing and you deal with it yourself lah. Yes. I am of the mind that what you do as long as you're not harming anyone, it's okay. But you have to understand that our country is a very, very tight with religion. Mm-mm. So the race is very tight with religion. Yep. When you start talking about this, you are talking about the three R already, which is a very sensitive issue when it comes to Malaysia. What is the three R? I'm sure you all know. Race, religion, royalty. Anything about this, it's hard for us to have a open discussion. Like you would say, oh, as a Malay, it, it, it feels very restrictive right because oh you have to follow all these rules and mm-hmm. everything and you might not have a freedom of doing things mm-hmm. right but at the same time you look at them and you see all these extra benefits that they receive as well like recently UITM wanted to suggest uh, introducing non-bumi to a specific course that's like uh, brain surgery or heart surgery something uh. like that and a lot of the Malay students disagree with that because they think it's encroaching or interfering for their rights to get this level of education. They're worried that if non-Bumi come in, then the Bumi people won't get enough opportunity for this. Mm-hmm. Now, I personally think this is an unfair uh, consideration because uh, you don't need to worry about you know, non-Malays coming, non-Bumi coming in to take your spot. Like, mm-hmm. you, you shouldn't have to be like, it should be equal opportunities for everyone to get that chance. Ma. Because you want everyone to have the opportunity to be better. What? Yep. Right. If mm-hmm. I'm a Malaysian, all right, I can't I, I won't have to worry that if I want to find this doc specialist, huh, I only can look at Malay people. Is it not better if you say, Oh, I want this specialist, I can find a Malay, a Chinese, an Indian? Yeah. Better choices, right? I think this is um actually we have come to this. I also uh, I stand off for the Chinese, uh, the Chinese employee. They are always also looking for. Uh, yes, this is also Chinese. very like. Yeah, they yeah. speak Chinese. They speak Chinese. They're they doing this. a Chinese way. They work in Chinese. They say, oh, these are borders la, between the races. Uh, they have a borders. Why not? Because we all is our Malaysians. Mm. This is actually another topic. La. We have the. We can say we have the. It's an open mindset. We live it together. We trick everyone is equally. This is actually really can tie to workers, right, in that sense, no? Like, you shouldn't be discriminated as a worker because I'm a Malay, I don't speak Chinese. Shouldn't, that shouldn't be... I, I don't think Malays, nowadays, a lot of Malay can speak Chinese. Yeah, the, the, the language is not the, the issue nowadays. The issue is the, the mentality and the mindset. Be- mm. The people is still think, oh, I'm living in Chinese group or it's better. I am. I mean, talk. Uh, it's enough. I can uh, supply and I do a business with a Chinese man. I don't think this is Malaysia because I'm thinking I living in Malaysia and Malaysia has got Malay, Chinese, and Indians or whatever. Uh, a lot of uh, races. Mm-hmm. Then it's same things like same goes with uh, uh Malay and then uh Indians. Oh, same thing also. Yeah, exactly. Like with the recent the chicken thing lah. It's mm-hmm. like oh, we we don't want the Type C people to come in and make noise. Yeah. Uh, what? Why you want to exclude? You should be trying to think to yourself, well, we, we should together as much as possible, right? But of course, it's still that mentality that blocks people from being accepting and it, it, this, all this trickle to uh, human rights as, a, yeah. as your racist as well, right? Because like... Some more I want to emphasize is that Indian people is so pity. You know why? They get the least of the... <laughs> you know, some kind like, oh, the Chinese say, oh, the Indian guys really not good. What, 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 what oh, kind gangster, of... Uh, gangster. Gangster uh, or whatever. Because... The, the skin uh, and then the funny but, thing right 
because you a lot of people think like that the Indian end up per- perpetuating or they accept that that uh, pos- that mentality like people always say oh the Indian they're all very rude or, yep. or this is, then they also think if if that's the case then I might as well just be like that lah, which is very a uh, terrible situation to be in because we shouldn't be you know tight like that lah. like the usual thing like the uh, Indians are, are rude or Malays are lazy uh-uh. uh, Chinese are greedy this is like the mentality that's uh, programmed by us which is not by done by us actually it's by <laughs> colonizers back then who f- put this kind of thinking to but us the, the politician is still use this method to control us and yeah as use it as a method to not only control us but also to, us. to push certain types of rights available only right mm. like that's that's why a lot of the times you see oh Chinese might not have as much rights compared to Malays or non uh, non Bumis or non Malays have don't have benefits compared to Malays, right? Mm. It's a <laughs> it's a very situ- uh, tricky situation, la. And I don't know, like, do you feel like this is something that we can handle and and we can tackle in our lifetime? Eh? Mm. You know, uh, for for both of us, la, Actually, we are not saying ah, you are in. Uh. We are not look for the <laughs> races. I and you are Indians. I'm not friend with you. No, not this kind of person. So. Yeah, but like it's true, right? On the on the ground level, right? Mm. We don't really care too much about yeah. this thing, right? Like you, you meet who you talk to who. As long as you treat each other good, it shouldn't be an issue. I think right? now, a day, the people's like um, it, because I I know it's a lot of youngster Chinese. They are always is they hang out with the Chinese group of people. Because they are not in the Ka- Kebang San school. Yeah, maybe it's uh, another school they are all they are joined together is one because in uh, This is already talking about uh. our vernacular school topic, which you all can check our episode back there. <laughs> 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 but let's let's come in back. But come to the personal life la. Like personal life, if let's say for personal life, like I actually if let's say I'm gay, I also don't have a right to with the gay people also. Uh. Mm, in Malaysia, but there is like a, LGBT issues. There like. is, uh, well, the LGBTQ issue is a very, <laughs> the worst, uh, one of the worst uh, uh, treated groups in Malaysia. La, very, mm. Because, as I'm going to say again, we are a very religion uh, tight Mm-mm. country. So, a lot of the times, the rights that should have been provided to them as basic human rights is not even given to them because of their gender, gender beliefs and gender identity. Yeah, because in the, like, like uh, my personal life, I w- love with someone. I living with someone, I cannot be like accepted from for I say not say accepted for all of the peoples. Like government also, oh, this is a haram, haram things. Which is like it's very difficult the people who are living here also. It's uh y- yes, yes like they, some they type of weird thing and strange. Oh, this is so this guy is so weird. But and the thing is, right, like for a lot of these people in the in the marginalized community, right? It's not like they're out here trying to Hassled or, or or psycho the 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 society to become more gay uh, to become more LGBT all this thing right they just want to be treated normally Mm-mm. and even that is already too much for a lot of Malaysians to accept like let's be real uh, if if outside of KL and outside of PJ or outside of this like very urban area right Mm-mm. it's very hard for people to accept and to look at all this group of people as normal humans because they will see them as like but weird. At, as a humans they have a right to choose their own life right this is very everyone basic. should have a right, right? this is a very foundation but we so. still have this mentality that some people's rights are less than others so. which is why I will always come back to the fact that Malaysia as far as humans rights go we still have a long way in terms of like being better and being tre- and treating people better lah. I don't. Mm. It's very hard for us to move forward if we're too stuck on conservative mental- mentality and very old way of thinking, mm. But let's and let's try to wrap it up, lah. For for you, Akit, do you feel like human rights in Malaysia? Uh, will we be able to progress better, or do you think this is as good as we can get, lah? Um, for Malaysian humans, right? I think a lot of. I mean, a lot, lot of steps of need, step to, <laughs> need to uh, improve for ourselves. <laughs> One thing is like, um, it's very foundations. Uh, it's like foundation. Our foundation actually is quite good. But 
for can be the 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 building can be better lah. The building is can be better. Yes, yeah, that's what you say. That's that's good of you to say that because for me, I think our foundation is not great. We are we base our foundation on on some really old and useless mentality, no. And I think we need to really improve and change that. So. I think we need to change our foundation in order for us to build a better. No, we have a good foundation actually. That's, we what, have uh, that's why we we are different there, lor. I feel you think the foundation we have there, but we are trying to do something differently, because we are trying to like uh destroy the foundations, like the old time they are lived in Malaysia, the colony time. <laughs> <laughs> So well, a lot of our foundation yeah. is based on that, bro. So <laughs> that's 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 how I feel. Uh. But what do you guys think? Do you think our human right foundation is good? Do you agree with Akit? Or are you like me? We should destroy the foundation, build a new one to start over again. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoy what we do, please share, like, like subscribe, and subscribe our channel, comment, all that fun stuff. Uh and if you want to reach out to us, as always, taytarekhour at gmail.com. So until then, uh, we will see you guys on the, the next, next video. episode. Bye! <laughs>